Hey everyone and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a massive shoe haul. I know what you're thinking. Girl, you don't need any more shoes. That's true, but I got more shoes anyway. <laughs> Alright, so, I've got quite a pile next to me. I've been a very naughty girl. Now this is actually stuff from a few months. <laughs> I didn't know just I didn't just get this right now. Um, these are shoes that I have acquired <laughs> for many months. Yeah. Uh huh. That's why there's so many. Um, so we've got shoes from Pretty Little Thing, Ego. I don't think there's any from Public Desire, um, Bets and Vans. So, if you want to see what I picked up in this shoe haul, then just keep watching. I don't even know where to start because I've literally got so much. Maybe I'll just start with the casual everyday shoes. <laughs> I, I do have a problem. I really do need help. Let's just start off with the Vans. So basically I've got a pair of Vans that I wear to work every single day and they are just old and stink and they're just disgusting. They really need to be thrown out and a new pair bought but they are the ones with the white, they're the old school black with the white down the side. Um, those ones are a little bit harder to get especially on sale whereas these ones I did get on sale. These are the black on black old school. You can see I haven't even done them up yet because I haven't used them yet. These ones I go in my regular size as always. I'm a women's 8.5 which is a men's 7. These are unisex as well, just so you know. But in these ones I needed, I wanted to get these ones too but I really wanted to get the white one, the ones with the white as well. Like I wanted both. But these ones I couldn't pass up because I literally got them for $40 off. So... I kind of couldn't pass that up and used Afterpay too, so Afterpay will be the death of me. But yeah, so I picked those up. I got these ones for $80 on the Iconic. They had like a, they had um, like they were already on sale and then they had like a 30% off sale as well, so yeah, double whammy, got them cheap. Also while I was on the Iconic, I picked up these platform slides. So these are from Betts. These are originally $80, but once again, discount upon discount, I got these for $30, so I couldn't pass them up. Um, I really, really love these. These look so good on. They're just like a chunky platformed flat, so a flat form, um, and just in this nice tanny colour. These do come in black as well, but I just love the tan. And these look really good with literally like any outfit. I love these so much. How about we move on to Pretty Little Thing. I've got a few pairs from them. So let's start off with these guys. They are literally just thigh high boots. Um, I do have some black thigh high boots. But these ones are a skinny stiletto heel and a pointed toe. The ones I have are a thick heel and a rounded toe. So these are a little bit more on the sexy side. So obviously I had to pick them up too because, you know, I'm obsessed with shoes and I literally need every bloody pair on the planet. So well, let's not go there. So these are literally just thigh highs in black, suede, pointed toe skinny stiletto heel. These were... Hmm. I'm not 100% sure, but they always have the 50% off sale, so I think I got these for about like $35 or $40 with their 50% off that they always have, like always have 50% off, so don't even pay the price that it says, always put their 50% off to it. Um, but yeah, I had to get them for that price because I mean, Trying to find a pair of boots like this for that price in Australia, <laughs> don't even think about it. They're $100 minimum, so definitely had to pick these ones up. By the way, um, if everything is still available, I will link them down below. Next up, while we're talking about booties, 
these are just crazy and I couldn't help myself with my leopard obsession at the moment. These are literally little ankle boots in a leopard. How amazing are these? Little pointed toe, stiletto heel, sock booty. These are literally, oh, I love these so, so much. These ones, once again, I think were like $70. Um, so they went down to 35 Australian dollars, which is amazing. Literally amazing. These literally would be like $100 if you bought them in Australia from any, any store. So to get these for $35, <laughs> you know I had to buy them, especially in leopard, because I'm literally obsessed with leopard, and these look so amazing on as well. I cannot wait to wear these out. <sighs> Moving on with the leopard theme, I also picked up these cute little belly dare heels. These are like a pointed toe at the bottom, but they are strappy, and the straps is literally just like a leopard print. This does also go up around your ankle as well. And I did pick these up from Pretty Little Thing. I did see these on another website, I think it's Lux to Kill. But on that website, these were literally so expensive. These were gonna cost me like $80 to get sent to Australia. And that was ridiculous. These I literally got for $30 on Pretty Little Thing. $30. <laughs> are you kidding? These are amazing. I love these so much. They fit perfectly as well. I got my regular size, which is a size eight. Um, Oh yeah, I got a size 8 in both the other shoes as well, which is my perfect size. Um, yeah, and these are amazing. They look so good on. Like, so good. If you want a pair of leopard print shoes that aren't really like that obnoxiously leopard print, these are amazing because it's literally just the straps that is leopard, so it's not really like too out there. If you want to kind of branch out into wearing an animal print with like a nice black outfit or something, then these are perfect for that. And I love them so much. Next up I also picked that style up in a red. So literally the same thing, pointy toe, strappy sandal, um, up your ankle. These once again were $30 too but obviously just a nice bright red. They do also have them in nude and black but we'll get into that in a minute because I didn't end up buying them on Pretty Little Thing but now I'm kind of wishing I did because <laughs> they're a bit cheaper. But yeah, there's the red ones, love those two. Perfect to go with any outfit. So now we're gonna move on to what I picked up from Ego. The rest of this haul will be Ego because I've got a ton from them. <laughs> so I got all of these shoes in the same order. Um, I like to, if I'm gonna buy shoes, to buy quite a few in the same order, especially if I'm gonna pay for shipping, which I don't think I paid for shipping with Ego because over a certain amount they don't charge you for shipping to Australia, but if you buy some cheaper shoes like I did, I bought a couple of pairs that were $17, well actually most of the order were $17 each. Um, so when you buy like a couple of extra pairs that are a bit more expensive and you kind of divide the amount over the shoes, they kind of all equal sort of an average amount and all of these average together was about $30 a pair. So for me that is really, really cheap. Uh, these shoes, like I said before, would cost way more if you were to buy them in Australia. So that's why I buy my shoes online. Only ever buy them online. <laughs> Let's move on. So we're going to stick with the same style. So once again, point toe strappy heel, a strappy upper leg, you know what I mean. So these ones are from Ego. Now these are a little bit more expensive on Ego, but like I said, when I bought them in this lot of shoes that I've got here, these ones did end up averaging out to $30 as well, just like all the other ones. So I didn't actually pay more than what they're worth on Pretty Little Thing, but this same style is worth $30 on Pretty Little Thing with the 50% off. But like I, s I wanted to show the comparison is that the Ego ones are a bit thinner, whereas the Pretty Little Thing is a bit thicker. So depending on like if you want them a bit thicker or if you want them a bit thinner, you can't really tell the difference when you've got them on, but that's probably the only difference really. Other than that, they're pretty much the same quality, um, they fit the same, yeah, up to you really. If you want to go spend a little bit more on Ego, um, or if you want to get them cheaper and put a little thing, that's the option. I'll link both down below, you can decide. Also got them in black as well on Ego. Once again, these ended up being about $30 when I averaged it out, but these I think are about 55 if you don't do what I did. 
if that makes sense. Because <laughs> I bought some $17 pairs of shoes. But yeah, so on Pretty Little Thing, these are also $30, but a bit of a thicker strap. Same style. These look absolutely amazing on. And once again, snake print. <laughs> so these ones are the same style again. Pointed toe, strappy. Um, literally the exact same style. You can't get these ones. Oh, actually, I think you can get a snake print style on Pretty Little Thing now. I did see it the other day, but it's not the grey snake. It's the brown snake. So you can get something like this on Pretty Little Thing as well. Once again, the straps are a bit thicker and they don't have the grey snake. They only have brown. But it's up to you whether you want to spend a little bit more and go through these guys or if you want to get them a bit cheaper on a pretty little thing. <laughs> Either way, I just love the style, hence why I've got white. So moving on to the last few pairs of shoes. These are the ones that I picked up from Ego on their sale and these were about $17 each. But like I said, when I worked it out with the more expensive shoes, all of them together in my order averaged out to about $30 a pair. I like to do that, it makes me feel a little bit better about spending money. Um, and yeah, like I said, when you average it out like that, it makes it way cheaper than if you were to buy it in Australia. Okay, so first up, I got these babies. <laughs> so these are in like a snake print as well. It's a bit more of like a taupey snake print, but these are literally like a nice, uh, what do you call it? A platform with a skinny stiletto heel and then this is literally just like a crossover strap on the front of your foot and then a nice strap across. They're literally just like so, so cute. These look amazing with just like a plain nice dress. You just pop this with it just for like a little bit of like the pattern pop and I think these look amazing. These also look good with just like a pair of jeans. Just give you that little bit of an animal print like pattern, kind of just spice it up a little bit. I really, really like these. So once again, these are a size 8 and they fit me amazingly. Um, also, once again, when you're buying on another website, double check that it is in Australian sizes or if it's in UK sizes. Don't do the mistake I did years ago and buy the wrong UK size thinking it's the Australian size when it's not. They are about two sizes different, so I'm an 8 in Australia, which is a 6 in the UK. Just so you know. Be careful. <laughs> then these ones as well were $17. These are just like a little uh, classic strappy shoe. They do also just have like this diamante sort of... They're just little squares. Little squares on top. Um, and it's just like your basic strappy heel. These look really amazing on, and literally, these were $17. These were amazing. These are branded as Koi footwear, but I did get them on Ego, so I'm assuming they're pretty much the same company. Um, I feel like they're all pretty much the same company. They all get their shoes from the same place. So, yeah. Like, the Public Desire generally has the same shoes. So does Ego, um, and now, so does Pretty Little Thing. So, I feel like they kind of get them from the same, like, the same place, or at least copy from each other because everyone seems to have the same shoes. Now you all know that when things are on sale and they're as nice as these, I do get them in every colour. So I did get them in red and in nude. Just so you know. You know I like shoes. Um, but yeah, once again, same style, nice sparkly front. Um, same with the red, nice and sparkly. That is all of the shoes I've picked up in the last few months probably the last like four to five months really if I'm honest. If I can find these links um, still online I will pop them down below so you can shop them if you like. I will leave the links for the Ego shoes and the Pretty Little Thing shoes like both colours if that makes sense so that you could decide which one you want to get if you want to get from Pretty Little Thing which is a bit cheaper or buy a lot more from Ego and have it averaged out to about the same price. Up to you what you want to do but I'll link both down below if I can find them still. Let's hope I can. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.